hi everyone and welcome to another youtube video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the cross tabulation and the several tests and properties that actually comes with the cross tabulations so basically we use the cross tabulations to actually see if there is a sort of a relationship uh, between two categorical variables emphasis on the word categorical variables so basically whenever we have uh, a cross tabulations or we have a cross table also known as a contingency table you know we have the rows and then we also have the column so in between the rows and columns we have actually numbers so numbers that are like counts or their observed value that tells us or the number of values between each of the variables that we are actually working with so without wasting much of our time i'll just go straight into uh the cross tabulations for the numerical variables sorry for the uh categorical variables that we have right here we can see that we have car name and when we go down to the right we can see that we have a couple of variables right here that are also categorical in nature so let's go to analyze then you come to descriptive statistics then you come down to cross tab so that is cross tabulations so you can see that in this dialogue we have rows and we have columns okay so we have to like just let's pick this first i would like to pick engine type on the rows and then column right and now you can pick as much as possible you can actually put like more rows down here more columns right here it doesn't really mean anything but let's start with just a single row and uh, a single column right here so you can come to the statistics then you can click on the chi square so basically the chi square is actually a non-parametric test that is uh, used to see if there is a relationship between two categorical variables okay so that is that about that you can also click on correlations you know uh, then we also have uh, some things that we can actually pay attention to uh, we have the kenda style b and c these are actually what we use to get the correlation between ordinal uh skill data we also have the kramers v and find so the kramers v is actually a test that we use to see if there is a correlation between two nominal variables you know your piercing is all about two numerical variables uh your candles is all about at least ordinal that is it can work with ordinal interval and ratio uh your spearman's ranking actually work when we have uh, uh a non-parametric conditions and stuff like that so you can just decide to like pick all of the things that you need but for now i want to just talk about the chi square the kramer's v and the scanner style you know then we click on continue and if you want to display a cluster chart okay a clustered bar chart or a component bar chart between these two variables you can actually do that i don't need it so i just really don't want to so we click on okay it runs the test and it gives us a cross tabulation between the cylinder uh, the cylinder number rather which is on the horizontal axis that is the row and uh, we have uh, the engine type on the column and uh, the cars or the number of cars that have eight cylinders and the engine type is dohc i'm sorry for pronouncing it that way there are actually zero of them so 130 cars have four cylinder number and they are actually having the engine type of zero h o h c rather and then we have uh, a total of 148 cars that are o h c engine type we have a total of 24 cars that have six cylinder number you know these are the details we need to pay attention to so this is actually the cross tabulation this is our uh, cross tab rather the contingency table so this is our case um process summary and when you notice there's a warning right here correlation statistics are available for numerical data so that means that the correlation we clicked right there can only work for numerical data that is it is actually a peer sense correlation in that context okay so once you come down you can see the chi square right here so the chi square test is actually used to see if there is a relationship between the two categorical variable in this case of ours the engine type and the cylinder number now the null hypothesis is that there is no relationship between the two categorical variables and the alternative hypothesis is that there is actually a relationship between the two categorical variables so we need the piercing's chi square so our p value is obviously 0 0.001 0 0.001 rather 0 0.001 that is lesser than 0 0.001 we can actually see that this p value 
okay is actually lesser than either 0 0.05 which is a five percent level of significance or one percent level of significance which is actually equals to which is actually 0 0.01 hence we are going to be rejecting the null hypothesis which makes us conclude that since we are rejecting the null hypothesis it simply implies that there is actually a relationship between the engine type and the cylinder number okay so when we come to this um this table right here we can see that the Kramers v is actually 0 0.564 so trying to see if there is a relationship between the two uh categorical variable we have the coefficient of correlation which is Kramer v in this case to be 0 0.564 and this correlation is actually significant at a one percent level of significance since our p-value is still lesser than 0 0.01 we also have the Kenda style B to be equal to 0 0.123. We have the Kenda style C. All of this, these two rather, are used to test for correlation also. So you can just decide to pick the ones that suit you. Either the Kramer's V, the Kenda style B, or the Kenda's, the Kenda style C. And that is everything we need to know about the cross tabulations, uh, the chi-square and the Kramer's view with the Kenda style. If you learned something new from this video and you also enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Do you have some questions from me or you think like I missed something or I made a mistake somewhere? Please go down to the comment section and drop your questions or your opinions. I'll be willing and ready to attend to all of them. Thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.